Good afternoon dudes, welcome back to Duty's Daggers. We have a double unboxing today. Very, very exciting. These stitches are out. I pulled them out today. Um, still kind of a large crevice in my finger. Um, but it's definitely, you know, back together. Uh, I suspect there's going to be a nice scar there. I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll probably keep it bandaged up at work, uh, just so I don't get dirt and uh, undesirable materials in there. But uh, yeah, I actually filmed myself taking the stitches out. I think I'm going to put it in the members only video uh, this weekend. So if you're a member or if you were gifted a membership recently, um, you'll be able to see that uh, as part of the video. So before we get started, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already. It's a good channel. I think you'll like it. And follow me on Instagram also, duties underscore daggers. So one of these is a knife, and one of them is, I think, a knife part. Let's find out. Unboxing with the, uh, the Warncliffe Ohio Riverjack. Which are almost gone, I think, probably. And I think the sale... Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is um, this is my brass, or this is my copper, rather, uh, lanyard hole stopper that I bought for my, uh, my Warncliffe PM2. I have some scales coming for that as well. Um, so I wanted to get a little stopper for it. This is really cool. Uh, I have one on my, uh, my other PM2, my um, classic version PM2, but this is in brass. I wanted to try the copper one this time. You can tell the difference. Um, these are sold by Flytanium. There's a couple different uh, patterns you can get. You can see this one's more of like a target pattern. This one's like a, a cross eye sort of uh, pattern. Um, so yeah, that's going to look great. Um, I have some really nice micarta coming for this. And I think this copper is going to look really, really nice in there with that copper. So very sweet. And is there anything else? I don't think so. I think that was it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Nice little something something. And I got a really nice box for when I need to ship out something next. Uh, I'm still waiting for the scales, so um, we'll have to wait on uh, the installation on that. All right, next. Now this I am very excited about because... This is something that uh, is completing a collection of mine. Let's see. I got the label on it, so I'm going to open this off camera. Let's see. There we go. All right. So, here we go. Boom! <laughs> yes, sir. I did it. I got the last one that I needed to complete the trio. My Ohio River Jack trio. I have the Warncliffe, the Sheep's Foot, and now the Spear Point, baby. Oh, yeah. First, let's check out the flyers. We got the Penguin Plus in the Jig Titanium, both blacked out and the um, stone wash. That looks really nice. Also, the same thing in the Mini. We got the Hedgehog. That's another one I need to get. I know I, know I always say that, uh, and I will eventually. Uh, there's a Jig Titanium version and a, um, a cheaper Micarta version. And there's all the uh, traditional pocket knives info. There you go. Austin's a great guy. Um, there's a link that will take you down to um, traditional pocket knives down in the comments and in the, the description. It's going to take you right to the Ohio River Jacks. And um, if you use my code DUTY10, um, you'll get a discount on those. Now, my code only works for the Ohio River Jacks, uh, but there's a bunch of other really good stuff on there. Um, so use the link below. It'll take you right to it. Let's check it out, man. We have... The single blade spear point jig titanium. 
I am so stoked to have all three. They also sell them in Micarta. If you're not um, a full titanium guy, you still get the titanium bolsters, but in the middle here is uh, Micarta. There's black, uh, brown, and green Micartas. Come on. There we go. All right. Yet another sticker, and here we go. The set is complete. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that one sits in the handle farther than all the other ones, looks like. Let's check it out here. Let's close all of them. So it's so weird to have three of the same knife. I've never done this before. So yeah, it looks like the sheep's foot sticks out the most out of the handle, and then the Warncliffe, and then the spear point. Let's open her up. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's nice. That's just really nice. It almost kind of reminds me of the drop bear blade a little bit. Let me get out the drop bear. Kind of. A little bit. Yeah, actually a lot bit. It kind of reminds me of, um, I mean, this really reminds me of a spear point. I think it really would be if it didn't have the swedge up here. Um, but it's close to a spear point anyways. Um, it's almost like a, a snub-nosed... I know that's not the right word for it, but that's the, the term that comes to mind. It's like a snub-nosed drop point, you know what I mean? Or snub-nosed spear point, even. Um, and I love the blade shape on the drop bear, so I think I'm really going to like this one as well. Um, yeah, this is really nice. Full flat grind, just like the Warncliffe. As always, excellent fit and finish. This is one where you're going to need this nail nick um, to get the blade out. These other two... I don't really need it. I can still, I can grab the blade and just pull it out. Um, but this one, since it's uh, further in the handle, and the walk and talk is really stiff, really nice and sniff, nice and stiff, um, you do have to use that nail nick. But really easy to do it. Super easy. Feels just, and sti just as stiff and just as poppy as all the other ones. Excellent. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, man. Look at these babies. Full titanium, baby. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm so happy. So I got this slip made um, for the first one I had, which is the sheep's foot. Um, I didn't think I would get the other two as quickly, so I actually hit up... Um, this is made by Northwoods uh, Leatherworks. And I hit him up asking for another one when I got the Warncliffe. And I should have just had him made two, make two. I didn't realize I would get the, the spear point so quickly. But the sale, the sale was ending and I just had to do it. Um, these have been on sale for 110 bucks recently, which is outrageously good. They're normally 165 And with my code, Duty10, it was um, 99, bu 99 bucks. Uh, I believe that sale is over. Click the link down below to, to go check. Um, but regardless, you'll still be able to use the, the discount code duty 10 and get it for a little cheaper. But that was the reason that I bought these all, um, kind of so rapidly is I couldn't pass up this knife for 99 bucks. It was, it's a ridiculously good price. And, um, you know, it, they don't have to be on sale for me to, to think it's a good purchase. I bought this one full price, um, and I would have bought the others full price too. It just would have taken me a little bit longer, you know. Yeah. The fit and finish on these guys is just so nice. These are made by QSP. You can tell the back spring is just totally and completely flush with the titanium scales. You don't see any light coming through anywhere. It's completely solid. Um, very, very nice and smooth wrapped around here. All very flush, very smooth. If you run your finger across it this way, you don't even feel the seams at all. 
It's like they're not even there. The back spring is flush in um, all three positions as well. Um, the half stop, still flush. Open, still flush. It's not a small knife. Um, I can still get a full full grip on it easily. Um, M390 blade steel. Let's see right there. So the sheep's foot is the only one with uh, that is not a full flat grind. Um, so this one's going to be a little bit more, I guess, a little bit probably a little bit more robust towards the tip. Maybe a little more hard use. Maybe some a little more pressure into the tip. Um, and these two are going to be a little more slicey. Uh, I'm curious to see the measurement behind the edge on all of these. I think we should bust these calipers out and and see what we got. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's go with the sheep's foot first. I believe this will be the thickest behind the edge. Just guessing, though. Take a measurement back here. 20 thousandths. Twenty two thousandths. And at the tip, 22 thousandths again. Uh, perfectly acceptable for an EDC knife, absolutely. Um, but I believe these are even thinner. Let's see. Back here we've got... Hang on. Back there we've got... Oh yeah, it's 20. 20 again. Into the tip, it's actually a little thinner, 19 thousandths. So not a whole lot thinner, but it's going to slice better because it's a full flat, right? You're not uh, getting any friction um, on the material on this flat part of the blade or on this part of the blade where it transitions from the bevel to the flat. Um, this is going to pass through material a lot easier, just being a full flat grind all the way from the edge all the way up to the spine. So let's check out the spear point here. It might be the same. It might be 20, 20 thousandths. Let's see. Oh, it's actually a little thinner, 18 thousandths. 18 again. And 18 again. Cool. So this one is actually the thinnest behind the edge. This is going to be slicey as hell, man. 18 thousandths is good. That's very good. Cool. That's very cool. I'm perfectly, perfectly happy with that. Let's do a little cutting. Let's do a little cutting. I don't even think I'll be able to tell the difference between the three. Just cutting some paper. But, you know, if you're cutting cardboard or something, you'll definitely be able to tell. This one I've been using the longest, so I think it needs a little bit of a strop. But yeah, man, look at these things. Excellent. Freaking excellent, dude. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I freaking love it. I'm so happy. I can't wait to have uh, three slips, too. Right now I only have one. Like I said, I'm going to hit him up. He's already making one, uh, another one for me. I'm going to see if he can make two more for me. Um... That way these guys will all have a little leather home to live in. This one actually feels a little stiffer. Huh. Yeah, it does feel a little bit stiffer. I mean, they're all, they're all really nice. The Wormcliff just feels a little, a little stiffer for some reason. I don't know why. Right on. I have the complete set. You know, these also come in double-bladed versions, um, which I've never really been um, 
interested in because it just makes them really fat. If you can imagine two of these together, that's basically what it is. Uh, maybe a little bit thinner. It's basically like this. Like you'd have one blade come out of one side, one out of the other. Um, they're just really fat. Um, and I like them to be a little bit thinner. And I don't really need to have two blades. Um, I just need one. Um, how I carry these knives usually is um, in uh, in uh, in companion with another knife. Usually, um, what I've been doing this past week, uh, week and a half, almost two weeks now, is carrying this with a fixed blade. I'll carry my Bradford Guardian Three in a sheath on my belt, and I'll carry one of these um, in a leather slip in my pocket. And it works out perfectly because uh, when I want to do some more hard use stuff, break out the fixed blade. If I want to do some um, kind of smaller little little detail work, maybe some draw cuts where it would be nice to have a worn cliff, I'll break out the Ohio River Jack. And it's just been a really good combination for me. Um, I don't know. I've just really been loving it. I've been loving my EDC setup recently. I've got a lot of leather back in it. Um, it just feels classy, you know. Carrying the Ohio River Jack feels good. It just feels good. This is something that you'd pass on down to your kids for sure. You know, it just, it's classic looking. Um, there's nothing on it that'll break. There's no springs, you know, no coil springs, no omega springs. There's nothing. It's just a classic slip joint. And these will last forever. Um, and it feels, it just feels classy, you know, with the jigging, just everything, you know. It's a classic pattern, but with modern, uh, modern, Modern materials, a few modern elements thrown in there. So, really recommend the uh, Ohio River Jacks at Traditional Pocket Knives. Like I said, follow the link down below. Uh, it'll take you right to them. And um, if you're not interested in uh, the Ohio River Jacks, there's a bunch of other good stuff on there too. But my code only works with the uh, with these guys. So, there you have it. Three sexy little guys. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, folks. I love you. Peace and love. Adios.